welcome back to Visits with Soxy Nana. As promised, today I'm going to show you how to make a do-it-yourself yarn swift. Because one of my favorite sayings is, necessity is the mother of invention. Okay, now it took me a while to get that because, you know what, I just keep forgetting it. And I've done this video three times already. And, uh, yeah, I kind of screwed it up a couple times. Anyways, so necessity is the mother of invention, so that means that anything that I need, I try to either make it, find it, or get it at a thrift store, okay? Uh, I'm retired, as I told you earlier in other videos, so now this is how it works. I have to try to make things to uh, suit my needs, which is awesome, because that's like my favorite thing to do. Anyway, so a yarn swift is a contraption that's made of wood usually that people use to turn this kind of a skein into what's called a cake. And I will attempt to do that with you today. Okay? So, what you're going to need is four coat hangers. Plastic coat hangers work great. An elastic band. A bunch of these little twist ties, four clothes pins, wooden clothes pins work, plastic you can use as well, a couple of these just paper cups or styrofoam cups, a glue gun, and a lazy Susan, which I don't know if they call them lazy Susans anymore. Sorry Susan, um, I guess it's called, I don't know, if you know what it's called, stick it in the comments below. This one is from Wilton, and it just rotates around and around. And I use this quite a bit for my sewing. Right next to my sewing machine, I put it right next to my sewing machine, and I put things on it like pins and uh, stitch rippers, little scissors, my uh, my uh, uh, pin cushion, my chalk that I use when I mark my fabrics. But I like to put a cup on here so that I can stick pens and the longer items in there as well and this works perfect for making your yarn swift. You're not going to use the yarn swift every day or uh, as often as uh, as I as you know a lot of the commercial people do um, to make their wool uh, into cakes but you know when you need it from time to time it's nice to have it and I can reuse this in multiple ways. So I use it for my sewing area to keep all my little notions on and now I'm going to use it to help me make a yarn swift. I hot glue gun this paper cup right to the top. You can use a paper cup. You can use a styrofoam cup. You can use a red solo cup. Whatever cup you have handy. Okay. We'll put that to the side for a minute. And I'm on coffee today. Chewy and I were out walking. And oh my goodness, it's snowing. It's only minus two right now. Celsius, which is awesome for Winnipeg right now. So if things are melting during the day and they're freezing at night, which means that it's really tough walking uh, and it's very messy for Chewy. So he had to have a semi bath when he got back. Okay, so let's get us started here. Take your four coat hangers and put your elastic band around the bottom of them like so. Okay, just tie them up together like that. Now, have your paper, your, sorry, your paper, your uh, twist eyes in hand, ready to go, because you're going to kind of open this up so that it makes a triangle. So we're going to put, let's put two together here and just put two on the top of this one. And we'll put two, on, put two together on this one. I don't know if you can see this, but, okay. I got this off of Pinterest. Pinterest is just crack to, uh, to handicrafters, that's for sure. We just love this. We just love doing, pin, look, checking out Pinterest, okay. And we'll do that one. So you've got them all together at the top, but in pairs, okay, not all in one. There you go. See, just like kind of like that. Okay, can you see that? So they're not really all, it can sit just like that. 
kind of like around like a tent idea. See? Can you get the idea? Okay, this one I want to push on the inside, you see, because you kind of want to make them so that they're all kind of touching at the top. And I'm going to put another one through the middle so that all four now are going to be secured. And then you can go crazy with your hot glue gun. And as long as you make them kind of even, all right, and go ahead and glue this all like crazy. And what I do is, what I did was I can, I did put some extra twist ties on the bottom as well. And I hot glue gun that as well, okay? And then that really secures it. And you take your clothespins, put one on each. And you'll see what that's for in a bit. We're almost ready to actually cake our yarn, wind our yarn ball. You can do it by hand, or you, I have actually a ball winder here. It's a um, Loops and Threads yarn winder. I got it at Michael's, and I waited till I could get my 30% off or 50% off coupon, and I bought it then, because then it was cheaper. Okay, so what you want to do is you take the extra cup that's loose, and you're going to push these, the bottoms into it, okay? Just like that. All right, push it in just like that. And you can hot glue gun that in there as well too, okay? Put a drop of hot glue, oh, put a hot glue, drop a hot glue down there, and it'll just secure it into the cups. Then what you wanna do is you wanna take your cups, your cup once that's done, now comes this turntable. Let's call it a turntable, not a lazy Susan, because we all know Susans aren't lazy. Right, Susan? <laughs> okay, and then pop this right in here like this. And now, when it's all secured with hot glue, it will rotate, just like a yarn swift that you buy from the store. Okay, guess what? Thanks to modern television, ha, 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 ha. I have one already made that I've been using. Works really great. Okay, and there you go. There you have it. This one's got the glue gun all glued up already. And it doesn't have to be, it can be a little wonky, doesn't matter. It still does the trick. Okay, now here's the kitsch. Here's the part we love. The ball winding part. Oh, I gotta get the, the clothespins off of this one, off my prototype that I was working on here. Now, what you do is you take your, your wool, this is Bologna's Alpaca Acres from Bologna's Alpaca Acres in Manitou, Manitoba. This is 60% alpaca, 20% rame brulee, 20% nylon sock yarn in um, kind of a, a really beautiful gray heather colorway. Um, and they, uh, they sell this out of uh, online uh, as well as at yarn festivals, yarn fairs. And a lot of times they have it already um, already made up into product socks and what have you. They're just beautiful. My partner's got some gorgeous socks made from them. It's hand wash, cool soapy water, rinse and lay flat to dry is the care instructions. And here's their logo. And I'll put the information to them linked in my video below, down below. By the way, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you give me a thumbs down though, please let me know what I can do better next time. And uh, please subscribe, that's awesome. So we're gonna undo the little, there's little uh, ties here. And it looks like she's just, oh, they've gone ahead like that. Okay, let's go ahead and undo it. I think I need a pair of scissors. Yes, I do. Hold on, little clippy ones. There we go. Okay. Let's do this right there. <clears throat> Garbage. All right. Looks like all the rest are out of there already. Okay. So we put it on our yarn swift, like so. Push it down so it's just right, right, just right. Find our end. Okay, now, now I like to put these uh, clothespins on it 
because then as it's flying around you don't get it going too bad too fast and it just flies off it doesn't really get going that bad but it's nice to have a little security okay so then I have a ball winder over here that you can't see maybe I can adjust the camera so you can see it actually what I might do is just put it down lower there we go oh here we go I don't know if you can see the ball winder still oh you can see my coffee mug and all my other things out here let's move all this out of our way here's the ball winder which is like I said a loops and threads but because my table is so wonky and big I cannot put it up on the table because the little clamp will not straddle my entire table side so I put it on the side of my table and I clamp it on like that okay and that's the only way I can do this sorry okay now you're gonna thread it through and if you've ever used a, a ball winder before it's pretty simple to use and all you do is you put it through the little there's a, these little um, notches so that it holds the wool for you and then you go ahead turn the handle and as you can see your yarn, yarn swift will rotate and work out just fine can you see that it's working I love it when I saw this I thought you know save myself you know 50 to 100 dollars for a yarn swift I know you woodworkers you absolutely do amazing work and I will publicize you all you want if you send me a free free yarn swift but otherwise I'm gonna stick to my do-it-yourself yarn swift I hope you can hear me through all that racket what I was gonna tell you was also if you don't have a ball winder of course I had this you know pick this up like I said at half price if you don't have a ball winder and you just want to do it yourself again I can show you something all right why not just wind it yourself just wind away I'll tell you one thing though wind it loosely do not wind real wool tight because you actually can stretch your wool and it will make it just not not as nice to knit with and stretching wool when it shrinks back again it's just not as nice as if you just keep it nice and loose and go ahead and wind your ball yourself there you go this is a hundred grams, hundred approximately a hundred gram ball, I believe. So this will make a lovely pair of beautiful socks in alpaca, which will be super warm, crazy, crazy warm. Well, as you can see, I kind of had a bit of a, you know, a uh, problem with my phone, so I had to go ahead and uh, start this video again. So I will splice it all together. Love the editors. Uh, I'm not so good at it yet, but I'm getting there. I'm learning. So, anyways, so yeah, so you can go ahead and wind up your ball of wool yourself, and you can do this while you're watching TV. It's not too not too noisy, but uh, the ball winder, the mechanical one over here, is much noisier. But anyway, so we get this all going, and then hopefully my mojo will come back. I am having a horrible sock mojo. Uh, depression right now I just can't seem to get motivated to make socks I started Walter socks I have them going two at a time I'm making two at the same time and this one I finally got I'm doing a um, a heel a fish lips kiss heel I'll put the link to the uh, Ravelry pattern for it it's my favorite and it fits Walter the best and I don't know, I just can't get motivated to, to make them. I'm using up all these scraps and bits of, um, of uh, wool from, um, from New Brunswick, not Newfoundland, from uh, Briggs and Little in Canada. It's the most amazing. It's toughies, and it's so lovely. It, it, it just washes up really well. It's very sturdy. It's so cozy warm. And uh, he wears them as slipper socks all day long, and even in the summer. And I, I started the other day, went over to friends and thought, okay, well, what was going for 
a COVID coffee, we call them, which means that we're wearing masks and we're just sitting so far apart and what have you, but we can still at least chat. And uh, I thought, oh, I'll start a, a new pair of just vanilla socks using up some wool that I had sitting in my stash for quite some time. And I'm, don't, I'm not really fond of the colorway. It's got a lot of like a, almost an emerald, almost a grass green, not emerald green and a grass green in it. Not that great. I wasn't really sold on it. And, but I picked it up anyways, cause it was on sale and I thought, Hey, well, you know, maybe the kids will like it. So I started, but I just can't, can't, I started two at a time, magic loop, toe up, you know, and, uh, I got the, I got the increasing done on the toes and that's where I left it and that's where it sat. So maybe if I'm off in the car or whatever and I'm I'm and and I'm not the driver, I'll uh, I'll go ahead and work on those. But uh yeah, I uh, uh that's it for this sh this podcast anyways. I will uh I'm going to make another one. This one is actually I'm going to put out hopefully this weekend and I'll have another one for Tuesday. And I'm thinking that Tuesday is going to be my day to actually deliver a video for you to you. And we're going to call it uh, Togetherness Tuesday Visits with Nana Alice. So, Nan Soxy Nana Alice, sorry. And uh, we'll take it from there. Hopefully I get this. Uh, I'm, I am also working on cleaning up my sewing area a bit. And that'll make a huge uh, impact on me, hopefully getting my mojo going for my knitting. I will show you for my Tuesday video, I will show you the dolls that I've been working on. And because uh, I'm going to be sending them off to the girls that are getting them. I hope they're, uh, they're going to enjoy them and play with them. I'm sure they will. Uh, anyway, so um, I hope you enjoyed this video, this do-it-yourself. Uh, necessity is the mother of an invention. And today we made a yarn swift. And how cool is that? And I'm, I'm, I'm going to be making, hopefully, uh, making up some beautiful, beautiful socks with these when I get my mojo back to if you've got an idea for a pattern for me to make them with, put it in the comments below uh, and I'll check it out. I'll try some new patterns. I mean, I, so far I'd use mostly simple Skype and uh, I use sometimes a, a slip stitch in there, but not really, haven't been a lot with lace work. And because this is almost a very kind of a masculine, masculine coloring, I don't know what would be nice if maybe a cable, maybe a cable would be nice. I just tried cables. Uh, recently and really fell in love with doing them. So maybe I'll try that socks on a plane. I think it's called. Anyways, if you have some ideas, put it in the comments for me and yeah, and I'll check them out. Anyways, take care and we'll talk to you soon. Probably see you Tuesday. Take care. Bye now.